1991, two young aspiring second division footballers are meeting for the first time at Mines and beginning a friendship. But neither could have imagined that decades later there'd be a framed picture of themselves together in the manager's office at Liverpool Football Club. I'm very special but it's quite difficult to describe because it, it, it feels just natural. He already played there for one year. I met him the first time of the preseason. It's like family and so we, we understand each other as, as brothers. A very quick found base where we had the feeling, okay, uh, there could be a relationship. It was the start of a lifelong friendship. He was not very consistent, eh? even when he doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> Big talent, but not every day. <laughs> okay, he he was quick. He was strong in the air. He was a very young player when he came from Eintracht Frankfurt to to Mainz. Um, very skilled boy. Uh, very quick. Good striker, actually. Technical average. Endurance, I would say average, but because of his attitude, he ran more than he uh, usually is able to run. He, he was a leader. He was a leader. The old ground is now used only for reserve matches. Mind Zero Fump have a new stadium. The club is a very different one from the playing days of Wagner and Klopp. <laughs> Maybe like Huddersfield uh, when they when they got promoted uh, six years ago. So it was small Bundesliga two club with. Uh, very difficult circumstance, financial-wise, from the facilities, uh, from the stadium. The great thing on this group in this time was, I think, nearly every player came in and around 50 kilometers. Die Tribünen standen noch nicht. Das war noch ein ganz kleines Stadion. Also die Tribünen kamen erst viel später. Wir haben relativ wenig Zuschauer in Mainz und die Mannschaft war talentiert, aber sie war ein wilder Haufen. Ne? Ohne Struktur, einfach jeder ist gerannt, äh, ja, so gut er konnte, aber wir waren ein mittelstarkes Team in der zweiten Liga. Er immer abstiegsgefährdet, er, der Blick ging immer mehr nach unten, nicht absteigen war das, das Wichtigste. It's a little town, it's a nice town and you know almost every, everyone in the city, you know your, your neighbor and uh, this, is, this is really, really good. Ja, die sind ja war eine Fahrgemeinschaft, glaube ich. Die kamen aus derselben Gegend. Die sind ja gleich äh, in einem Auto, glaube ich, immer zum Training gekommen. Kloppo hat geraucht und David musste immer bei offenen Fenster fahren, glaube ich. <lacht> Was er as emotional then as he is now? Ja, yeah, absolut. So even in training, uh, especially in the game, so we, we had some harsh arguments together. He and me during training or uh, during even during games sometimes. On a pit for sure, especially when um, I played a little bit deeper role and he was not moving uh, or not defending. Um, I was quite um, loud yeah, as a player. I think, uh, especially because you are friends, I think then it's it's uh, that you are able to really have the honestly uh, harsh conversation. But for me, the pitch is like Las Vegas. What happens on the pitch stays on the pitch, um, and that's not a, that's really not a problem. So, but of course, I, I, I recognized a few times in my life that's not for all people the same. But for him, thank God, it was pretty similar. So nothing when we were in the dressing room afterwards. It was everything was forgotten. But yes, I was very demanding as a player, and I was an experienced player pretty early. Then um, was the, con the player who was always at mine. So other players came in, made transfers. Nobody wanted me as a player, so I couldn't make a transfer. So I stayed there. I played four years, four seasons uh, in Mainz. Uh, all these four years, uh, as everybody knows, with Jürgen together. And then after uh, these four years, uh, I had the opportunity to. Uh, Schalke. After a very bad injury, oh my God, I made a big move to, to, to Schalke, uh, became European champion. It wasn't an easy decision for me because Mainz is uh, the club I, I more or less came from this area, 30 kilometers from there. My wife is born in Mainz, my first daughter is born uh, there. So 
their family com comes from this area. So it was the first time when I really have to leave my, let's say, comfort zone in terms of the family. And I uh, went then to Schalke for two seasons, uh, two very successful seasons. The, the group had, I was uh, only a sub. First season we finished third and, and the second season we won the UEFA Cup. While Wagner had a winner's medal, Klopp and Mainz were finishing fourth in the second division. He never would be a Bundesliga player. The pair shared their mixed experiences. Like every friendship, I think we... Uh, uh, it, it develops with time and with time it develops the trust and belief in each other but I think we we had such a strong uh, base in the four, first four years so even when I was in Schalke and he was in Mainz we always stayed in contact. We made a move from Schalke to Gütersloh and we played against each other. Usually I don't, and as a player especially, never left the hotel the night before the game and we went to Gütersloh and he, he called me do you want to see a house? We have family a long time that you saw you did and the girls. Said, yes, okay, yeah. Next day we played exactly against each other. I was meanwhile the fullback, he was the left winger. And I couldn't have a proper challenge against him. <laughs> um, he softened myself the night before huh, with uh, nice food and all that stuff. So, And he scored three times. That was not nice. Wolfgang Frank was a coach who brought professionalism and high-tempo football to Mainz. It had a big effect on Klopp. The club then went through several coaches before turning to their 34-year-old defender. It was a big surprise that I became a manager for everybody. And did you take to it immediately? Did you sense this is what I was born to I do? Was... Actually, I thought I knew that before, but it's not like it's not a message you can go out and, by the way, I know I'm a very average player, but maybe you should give me the opportunity to manage this team. That's not how it works. Eh? So, um, no, but I did a lot of things. I did my batches during my playing career. I finished my studies during my playing career. I was the co youth coach at Eintracht Frankfurt very early when I was 20, 21, stuff like this. So I always wanted to, to do that. But with my career, usually you, you need to get promoted Five times until you are in the second division. Seine erste Ansprache, ich kann mich noch genau daran erinnern, in Kreuznach, wie, wie, wie er die Mannschaft da schon mitgerissen hat. Das war schon beeindruckend, vor allen Dingen aus dem Nichts heraus. Das, das ist schon eine Begabung, das, die, ist ihm einfach, ja, die ist ihm einfach geschenkt worden. Das kann er. It was big, big fun, because you know that every game, every single game, uh, the team will uh, give everything on the field. He make everything to entertain and the spectators, the crowd, and so we all were, were one group. While Jurgen Klopp was enjoying life here in Mainz as a manager, his best mate was quitting football altogether. I was 30, 31, I think, and I played the last two seasons before in Bundesliga 3, and I wasn't any longer hungry and greedy to to play as a professional, I thought they have to be more outside this football family. I was already manager, and I, but I had no no need for him as a player. <laughs> My teams were too good, meanwhile, and he was now also in a, in a quite advanced age. I decided to study uh, sports science and biology. When the plan was that he will become a teacher, I really thought, that sounds good. This was a good decision now, I can say it was a good decision, but this was one of the uh, hardest five years of my life. Would I have known before how hard it is, I would never start it. Klopp was having his own stresses and strains at Mainz. Twice he got them to the brink of a first ever promotion to the top flight, and twice they were denied on the final day. We need three points from the last three matches, and we only managed two. And uh, so we were fourth again. And then after that, there was only one goal. Uh, and uh, we stayed in the second division, unfortunately. We are in the first league! But in 2004, they finally made it. The whole city was exploding, so this was the golden age. Mainz is known as the carnival city. They like to party. Everything was going well for Klopp, on and off the pitch. The relationship between the pair was now so close that when Jurgen Klopp was getting married, he asked his big buddy to be best man. And David Wagner brought Klopp and the Stag Party here to Mind City Centre. In Germany we have Christmas market 
big Christmas market and in Mainz there is one of the famous biggest Christmas market in, in Germany. I didn't think that we could do a stack deal because I was already pretty famous in Mainz. We all uh, put a mask on us, uh, a Santa Claus mask. So there were 25 Santa Clauses. And we all had numbers on the head and um, we were five minutes on a Christmas market in Mainz and after five minutes I went, that's Klopp. Everybody here recognized, okay, <laughs> that's the group uh, who joins you in Klopp to celebrate. I told him, when I raise the arm, you have to bring me home. Eh? So and after a lot of, um, I don't know, the, the drink Glühwein from Christmas market, it's hot wine. If you're not used to it, don't try it. It's crazy, it's a crazy drink. Eh? So and obviously pretty early that night I raised my arm and he called Ulla and said, I bring him. Klopp was celebrating again after beating the odds and keeping minds in the top flight for two further seasons. But after relegation and just missing out on promotion again, it was time for change. As he goes, that was that was irgendwann klar, logischerweise, weil die Angebote kamen. Ich glaube, die kamen schon vorher und dann irgendwann ich. Willst du dich auch weiterentwickeln und alles schön und gut hier in Mainz? Vielleicht kommt er noch mal irgendwann zurück, aber, aber dann, äh, ja, dann muss er einfach jetzt den nächsten Schritt machen. Das hat er dann auch gemacht. Jürgen Klopp was off to awaken one of the giants of German football. And at Borussia Dortmund, he would link up again with David Wagner. When Jurgen Klopp left Mainz for Borussia Dortmund in 2008, he inherited a club a long way short of their glory days. They were at that point uh, 13th in the table before a club came, um, and a few years before were even on the brinks of uh, bankruptcy. Playing at full gas, Klopp produced a young, vibrant side that was thrilling to watch. The first season. Um, we were supposed to go to Europe, uh, but only missed it by a by a by an inch. Uh, the next time we next year we went to Europe, uh, and I think the year after that we won the championship. So it was just uh, a rocket ride um, to the top. I love it when I read after the game that we run more than the, than the opponent. I like this. If somebody tells me after the game you, know, you run 11 kilometer more than the, than the other team, I, that's that's good. I don't like winning with 80%. It was very bad news for the players because we knew we had to run more and it's already pretty tough, but it set a clear goal and um, it worked. And this young, charismatic coach was becoming one of the country's most well-known faces, a celebrity. No, I don't like, <laughs> like it. Be a celebrity. celebrity. Oh, whoa. He was an impressionist dream. Very funny, uh, very funny. Obviously, we cannot make fun of the trainer. A little bit is okay, but uh, Matze Knop really did a great job of um, uh, focusing on the things that makes club club, as with the jumping around and the enthusiasm. Celebrity, Celeb celebrity. <laughs> as you say in England, by Jove, I got it. <laughs> Matze Knop is a, is a is a big one in Germany. It's it's kind of. Um, how do you say, if we, we say, call it a Ritterschlag, if we become a knight, when he thinks you are worth, that he tries to copy you, that's then you, you reach the next level, but that's not only for me. The man who never made it to the Bundesliga as a player was now the division's leading coach. And it would get even better because he would be joined here at the training ground on a daily basis by his best man. David Wagner had decided he wanted a crack at football management as well. In Germany, a very secure job <laughs> to be a teacher. Uh, so, but I, I, I was desperate. We had these talks, and he said to me always, "I want to do something in football and something." Else. No, I don't. I don't help you because I don't want you to be in this business. And so, when he came to Dortmund, actually, it was not my idea. Dortmund second team, they got relegated. They changed the manager. Then the position uh, became available and then Michael Zorc uh, gave me the call. One day Michael Zorc called me and said, do you think, and we need a new coach for the U23s, and he asked me, do you think Dave is right for the job? And I think, 
Yes, I think he's right for the job, to be honest. I joined this football club and they, and they won the title. And I thought, bloody hell, now I come to this football club, they won the title, now it only can go downwards when, 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 when I come. Uh, but then in the next season they won the title, they won the cup, and we got promoted as well. Heute, beziehungsweise die ganze Saison hier bei Borussia Dortmund und auch bei uns hier abgelaufen ist, das ist nicht in Worte zu, zu beschreiben. Das, die sind verrückt, die Jungs. So meine ich das. Und so ist das jeden Tag. Ich war wirklich glücklich, wie er wirklich gut war. Und sein Job, den zweiten Team zu bekommen, stayed in der Liga, was wirklich really schwierig in Deutschland mit diesen jungen Teams ist. So our relationship was much more stronger because we more or less met us every day uh, in, in, in this period and had a lot of uh, conversation, funny ones and serious ones. Very similar, also from the way they walked, the way they talked, the way they dressed. I mean, you could tell that they were kind of like brothers that were um, that were separated at birth. We took players from him 20 minutes before he started his game and said, oh, he made his lineup and we took the best player to bring him on our bench. <laughs> That's not too nice. It seemed sometimes like two little boys who just had a great time. Um, they would uh, sometimes, you know, they would kind of throw each other, uh, like push each other, but out of fun. They would uh, kick each other in the butt, yeah, but with their foot, yeah. And uh, you know some kind of jokes like that. And as a player, you see it on the front side, and you think, yeah, that's that, that's really cool. I'm not a lot of times proud in my life, but I'm really proud on what he did since he started as a manager. There was no stopping Klopp and Dortmund, as two successive Bundesliga titles were followed by some incredible performances in the Champions League. A semi-final win over Real Madrid in 2013 meant that Kloppo and his doppelganger were heading to England. Ah, as I said in England, yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, hello, I'm Kloppo from Borussia Dortmund. He knows me. Uh, can you bring me to Wembley? But defeat at Wembley was a crossroads moment. Bayern Munich won and then would take some of Dortmund's best players. The tide had turned. In the next two years, Klopp's men just couldn't keep up with Bayern, who dominated the German league. Klopp then announced he was leaving. Vielen, vielen Dank für alles und wir sehen uns ganz bestimmt irgendwann. Bis dahin, euer Kloppo. It was an amazing time, uh, this period, uh, for the whole football club, for, for Jürgen, for... for for all of us, uh, even for us from the second team, uh, it was a great time we, we had together. This is Anfield's normal one. Jurgen Klopp's first day as Liverpool manager, and the welcome was what you'd expect for something extraordinary. A new special one, perhaps. I'm the normal one, maybe if you want this. <laughs> yeah. There were rumours that you were going to go with him. Can you fill us in on that? No, there are no truths in this room was. This was totally independent from, from Jürgen's um, decision to go to England and to, to go to Liverpool. I, after a longer period of time, the, the, the offer came on the table and then I decided very quick uh, to take this opportunity to go and uh, join British football. The way he came across, the way he, he he put his footballing philosophy over, you know, in a very simple way. Even I could understand it. The way he transformed the club, the tactics, the formations, got the players working together. Instant transformation. While Klopp reached two finals in his first season with Liverpool, Wagner was just happy for a 19th place finish in the Championship. The following season, though, vindicated his decision to pack in the teaching. I was in south of France in, in, in the house of friends together with them and we watched it on television so he, he asked me if I want to come and actually yes I wanted to watch the game 
100%, but I, I really thought it makes absolutely big, because I love how he deals with the situation that pretty much nobody could say his name without naming my name. And But as friends, it's never a problem. So I, I, I feel a little bit sorry for him, because I really think he's, he's big enough, strong enough and everything, and what he achieved so far is, is big enough that nobody has to mention always, and he is best man of Jurgen Klopp, whatever. But I didn't want to come in the stadium and have one camera on me and say how I react when he should be, or his team, this club, should be in the middle of all interest. So I don't, we didn't want to play this part. So I was in South France, we watched it. I was nervous like hell. Christopher Schindler has a chance to write his name in Huddersfield Town legend. And he takes that chance! The fairy tale season has the happiest ending! And afterwards, Ulla sent him a video of mine when I was crying like a baby when, when, it, when it happened actually, because I couldn't stop. It was like the final penalty, and it happened, and I just started crying. So it's not like you have pain, you know, these kind of tears. And that was. Was wonderful. To be fair, I, I thought it is a chance, a chance for me, a, a chance for me to show to, to show something outside from Germany. Uh, I cannot say that I waited for this opportunity. The opportunity just uh, came around the corner, and when I then arrived, I thought, okay, it's a lot of work to do, especially in this football club. He looked really cool. I'm not sure he was that cool, but he looked really <laughs> cool around all these things. It's Premier League with Huddersfield Town. And now more than 26 years after they met for the first time in Mainz, they're rival managers. It is strange, of course it is. Nobody expected it, even when I joined Huddersfield. I don't know before it will be for me a little bit different, that's how it is. It suits them very well because they are very emotional and um, they do also enjoy very physical um, football, very athletic football, so that suits the Premier League uh, very well. We met already in, in, in friendlies uh, when he joined us here in the John Smith Stadium once and we played one friendly behind closed doors in Melwood as well. This was, even this was a little bit strange. That on this picture, we were there for the friendly. It was really nice, nice stadium. I was really happy for seeing all the the, the, the surface, the stadium and all that stuff. And it's so good at Huddersfield. But this now, uh, Enfield, dog out. He in one dog out, I in one dog out. Uh, this will be strange for sure. If there's a last minute winner for either team, will you behave differently? in celebration. No, if we score the winner, I will celebrate for sure. <laughs> and I know that he will celebrate as well if he scores the winner. Without knowing a lot about Huddersfield, I, I really love this club because of him. That, that's how it is. I really look always, after I see our result, how did they play? And um, on this day, yes, we will everything, we do everything, we'll do everything to, to beat Huddersfield for sure. And after that, we will have a, a, a talk like it is always, and then we have both to carry on. Sky Sports Premier League. Feel it.